This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at pH curves. The first pH curve we'll look at is for a strong acid and strong base. Because we are adding the strong base to the strong acid, the initial pH is low, which is the pH of the strong acid. As you can see, there's a very sharp increase in pH from pH 3 to pH 11. The curve flattens out at a high pH which is the pH of a strong base. And the pH of the equivalence point is 7. The next pH curve is for a weak acid and strong base. Because we're adding the strong base to the weak acid, the initial pH is quite low, which is the pH of a weak acid. The pH stays relatively constant, which is known as the buffer region. There's a sharp increase in pH from pH 7 to pH 11. The curve flattens out at a high pH, which is the pH of a strong base. And the pH of the equivalence point is greater than 7. The final pH curve is for a strong acid and weak base. Because we're adding the strong acid to the weak base, the initial pH is quite high, which is the pH of a weak base. The pH stays relatively constant, which is the buffer region. There's a sharp decrease in pH from pH 7 to pH 3. The curve flattens out at a low pH, which is the pH of a strong acid. And the pH of the equivalence point is less than 7.